Saturday and welcome to Celebrity Catch Point. First up, a member of one of my all-time favourite bands of the 80s and a bloke out of Spandau Ballet. <laughs> Hello, Shirley. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's Shirley and Martin Kemp. No pressure for the Kemp's here, but they're up against two Olympians, or as I like to call them, the winners of tonight's show. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kadena Cox and Perry Jake Drayton. Kadena and Perry, you're up first. Come and play tall or catch. Here we go. Oh, welcome to the show. This is some team, this, isn't it? I don't know, Spandau Ballet gold. This is gold, 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 gold <laughs> here. How are you both feeling? Excited. I'm really excited. For You're going to be absolutely fantastic. Shall we crack straight on with it? Let's get on with Before it. Before we do, something new on this series, we've got a star ball, OK? Here it is. Oh, oh my word. Well, nice catch. catch. <laughs> <laughs> If this ball comes down and you catch it, it's an extra £250, but for both teams. Yes. Shall we do it? Yeah. Right. right, let's get started. Here we go. So, this first question is going to test your memory. You're about to see ten professional versions of me. OK. Watch me like a hawk, because after ten seconds, the screens go blank, and I'm going to ask you a question about them. OK? <laughs> That is literally the best tribute act to the village people I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Here's the question. Which one would you go to if you needed a house built? He was over here. here he was over here. Yeah. He's definitely I think somewhere. It's somewhere here. Yeah, I think okay. I'm gonna go on four. So what do you reckon? Four? Yeah. yeah four yeah. for green. Right, let's lock in number four. Get yourself out there. Go on, Kadina. If you catch it, it's a hundred pounds straight away. You're making me nervous. Oh, don't, don't. <laughs> okay. okay, here we go. Start the beeps. Go on, Kadina. Oh, easy! It wasn't the catch point, but you were just at the side of it, so you still got the hundred pound ball. And there it is. There's the builder. Okay, we're off and running now. Hundred pound straight away. Right, well here we go. Let's have a look at the screens again. So on the screens now are ten famous British locations arranged in no particular order. From the left there, we've got Windsor Castle, Stonehenge, Sutton Hoo. Canterbury Cathedral, the White Cliffs of Dover, the Eden Project, Land's End, Wembley Stadium, the Thames Barrier and Cheddar Gorge. And the question is, if we were to rearrange them in order with the most westerly places to the left through to the most easterly places on the right, where would Wembley Stadium be? Wembley is in London. So this is west. I'd say standing five. I'm going to say six. Six? Yeah. OK. Should we lock in six? Yeah. All right, let's lock in six. Right, get yourself out there. Now, don't forget, Perry, blue balls are dropping from the wrong catch points. You won't want to be catching the pink one. All right. Come on, Perry. Is that going to be the catch point? Let's find out. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it is! It is! Yeah! <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> So there they are in proper order now. So you've got Land's End, Eden Project, that's the far west, Cheddar Gorge. You see where Wembley is, all the way through to the White Cliffs of Dover on the far east. So, well done, you bank £300. Go and have a relax over there. <laughs> this is big for me. Yeah. <laughs> on my bedroom wall, should <laughs> let me tell you, this is pop royalty. I love it. <laughs> OK, so in your house, who gets the bragging rights with the kids? Do they have to prefer someone's song over another? Or... Oh, they don't care as long as the publishing comes in. <laughs> There's no worry at all. <laughs> right. Shall we crack on? Yeah, yeah. Right, let's yes. have a look at the screens. This next question is going to test your musical skills because the screens are about to play you a tune. Listen carefully and keep an eye on where each note lands. The 
Pet Shop, Pet Shop Boys. Boys. It's, it's a sin. It's a sin, yeah. Right, we're going to play you the <laughs> tune again. <laughs> oh, OK. But yep. this time, we'll stop it before it gets to the end. You need to decide where you think the next note in the sequence will right. land. Yeah, it's going to be... I think it's, it's turquoise. Be... Yeah, that one there, the turquoise yeah. one. You both pointed to it at the same time, I'm confident then. I mean, if you two get a music question I know, wrong... it's embarrassing. We've all got to go home. <laughs> all right, Shirley, get yourself out there. Let's lock it in. Is this the one when they all fall down? Or no. Just one? This is one. OK. Right, is it going to be the catch point? Start the beeps. <laughs> yes! Yeah! yeah. Brilliant, well done, under pound ball, you got it absolutely spot on. Right, reveal the screens. Now, firstly, golf. Do you watch it? Do you play it? No. Don't watch it, don't play it. Oh, right, OK. So, on the screen now are ten golfers. From the left, we've got Kerry Webb, Tiger Woods, Arnold Palmer, Nick Faldo, Seve Ballesteros, Laura Davis, Anna Nordquist, John Daly, Georgia Hall and Colin Montgomery. And the question is, which of these golfers has won the most major titles? It's got to be I Tiger Woods. It's, it's going to be out of these three, I think. Tiger Woods, Palmer and Nick Felder. I'm going to go Tiger. OK. I think we have to. That's the obvious. Yeah. All right, OK. Well, let's lock in Tiger Woods on that side. Martin, get yourself out there. If you catch this, both teams have got the perfect start. Come on, Martin, you can catch this. Start the beeps. <laughs> yes! 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 <laughs> well done. 15 titles for Tiger Woods. Yeah, it had to be Tiger. So, there you go, <laughs> 300 pounds. Go and relax. So, at the end of that round, Kadena and Perry have £300 and Shirley and Martin also have £300. Whoa. In this round, each player will be catching double the balls, but for double the money. The first ball will drop from the blue side, the second ball will drop from the pink side. First up is Kadena and Perry. Come and play double catch. <laughs> OK. Right, let's face the screen. On the screens now are ten celebrities who have all had various parts of their body insured over the years, according to Lloyds of London. They are arranged in order of how much money they had these things insured for. So the cheaper items are on the left, through to the most expensive items on the right. So, from the left there, we've got the famous cross eyes of the silent film star Ben Turpin. Then we've got Jimmy Durante's nose, Merv Hughes' moustache, the taste buds of the food critic Egon Rone. Then we've got Betty Grable's legs, Keith Richards' hands, Ken Dodd's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to sleep tonight after that one. <laughs> America Ferrara's smile, Michael Flatley's legs and David Beckham's legs. And the questions are, which of these things was insured for a reported $1 million. That's on the blue side. Mm -hmm. OK. And then which of these items was insured for a reported £100 million? Pounds? That's the pink side. I mean, on this side, I feel like I'd go with Beckham's legs. So what I would have. How much did Beckham get paid? Big money. Yeah. So I'm thinking these legs could be worth more than that, couldn't they? Yes. I, I think <laughs> I'm going to go with... The rhythm dancing man. Yeah. 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 All right, let's lock in Michael Flatley on that side. So we're on to a million dollars on that side. Her legs? I was actually going to go with the taste buds. Either the taste buds or the tash. Now, where does the man with the taste buds? Oh, oh. he got raw, eh? OK. Because you were thinking the guy with the tash, you were thinking legs. Right, so go in the middle. Go okay, in between. So we'll, get, we'll go. All right, good tactic, that. Yeah, I like that. That's Let's lock in he got raw, eh? Right, Kadena, get yourself over there. All right, here we go. Are these going to be the catch points? Let's find out. That's racing. Go, 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 go,
go. Great catch, because it wasn't the catch point there, but you still caught it. It was Betty Grable's legs on that side, and it was David Beckham. But listen, still good, still caught a ball there, so that's well done, that's 300 pounds. Right. right, OK. Well done. So, let's have a look at the screens again. On the screens now are 10 sports. From the left, we've got golf, rugby union, figure skating, cycling, tennis, athletics, Formula One, football, boxing and equestrian. And the questions are, which of these sports has provided the winner of the BBC Sports Personality of the Year Award the fewest times? That's the blue side. And which of these sports has provided the winner of the BBC Sports Personality of the Year Award the most times? That's the pink side. Fewest, what sport? I'm saying skating. Yeah, Hang skating, it's, it's a no-brainer. I was saying that, a cycling ever got... Is Bradley? Yes. Yeah, Chris made it. <laughs> I, I know no, we rule out. Yes. Yes. Tennis yes. gets it all the time, yes. so rule that out. I know Murray Sorry, Andy. Andy. No. I know, I'm sick of him. <laughs> <laughs> what we're thinking? I'd stand him free, then. Yeah. Free, yeah. All right, let's lock in that side. Right, pink side, this is the most. I'd say it's out of athletics and driving. All right, OK, motor racing. When you think about the, yeah. the, the great as right, well... Right, exactly. Then motor racing, obviously, you've got Lewis Hamilton. I'd go on the second one. Yeah. Motor racing? Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's lock it in. Right, get yourself out of ice skating. No. Let's go, Perry. Smaller balls, £400 each, £800 up for grabs. Are these going to be the catch points? Let's find out. Don't worry, don't worry. It was Rugby Union on that side. Johnny Wilkinson was the only one from Rugby Union. That was 2003. Athletics. Athletic, Athletics. Yeah. So, sadly, you haven't banked any more money. Total stands at £600. Go and relax over there, you two. Thank you. Here we go. Let's have a look at the screens. So, on the screens now are ten models arranged in order of how far away from London they were born. Those born closest to London are on the left, through to those born furthest away from London on the right. So, from the left, Emily Ratajkowski, Heidi Klum, Helena Christiansen, Irina Sheik, Winnie Harlow, Bella Hadid, Iman, Grace Jones, Tyra Banks, and Elle McPherson. And the questions are, which of these people was born nearly 600 miles from London? That's your blue side. Right. And which of them was born just over 4,300 miles away from London? That's the pink side. So, 600 miles, blue. I, my first thought was Helen, Helena Christiansen. So, you're going for the middle? Yeah. Helena Christiansen. I'm going to stand by Helena. Yeah. OK, right. Let's lock Helena Christiansen in on that side. Right, so 4,300 miles on the pink so, side. I think Grace is American. Grace. Ira's American. It's got to be Australia. I'm terrible with miles. I have no idea. It has to be El McPherson. So, yeah, lock in L. OK, El McPherson. OK, okay Shirley, so... get yourself out. Oh, this is going to be Go a on, tough Shirley. one. Come on, two bowls, 600 pounds up for grabs. Are these going to be the catch points? Let's find out. Perry was looking at you over there going, cheap to do a bit. <laughs> 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 Elena was born in Copenhagen. Yeah. 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 Iman, Somalia. Somalia, uh, yeah. But £300 bank there, so good start. Right. Let's have a look at the screens. So on the screens now are 10 things that aren't necessarily known for their speed that have been adapted to make them as fast as possible. They are arranged in order of the highest speed that has been achieved in any of them. Slower speeds on the left, higher speeds on the right. And this is according to the Guinness World Records. Right. So from the left, we've got a motorised wheelbarrow, a motorised log, a motorised toilet, a digger, a milk float, 
a soapbox racer, a motorised sofa, a motorised bathtub, a tractor and a lawnmower. And here are your questions. A specially adapted version of which of these vehicles reached a world record speed of 70 miles per hour in 2018? That's your blue side. Right. Pink side. A specially adapted version of which of these other vehicles reached a record speed of 143 miles per hour in August 2021? 70 okay. miles an hour. I'm going for toilet. It's toilet? All oh, right, OK. Oh. Is someone sitting on them whilst they're going? Yeah. <laughs> I, I hope you said sitting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to go to toilet? Let's go to the toilet. Yeah. Let's I can imagine someone side. sitting there on the toilet <laughs> with a crash helmet on. Yeah. Goggles. It would be yeah, funny. Goggles. It would yeah. be funny. Uh, right, OK. And you're in the middle anyway, so... Yeah. On this side, yes. 143 miles I per hour. it's the sofa. I, I reckon it's the lawnmower. No, I don't. 143, some speed. I don't think you're going to get a sofa If you go for the sofa... 40 miles an hour. Look at the engine on it. Yeah, but that's not a real engine. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like graphic. Yeah, oh, that's what yeah. we've stuck on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a very good... <laughs> but the lawnmower is quite good. You're going to be catching, I think catching, it's boring Martin. to say we got a lawnmower to yeah, the speed. Yeah, but when I cut the grass, it goes <laughs> fast. Have you seen Martin Sometimes on the it, if I've got it in the wrong gear, <laughs> I'm racing around my car. <laughs> so you chose right, toilet. You choose. I'm choosing lawnmower. Oh. Right, OK, let's Just... lock in lawnmower over there. Okay. Right, mate, get yourself out there, pal. Right. Be prepared. So, if you don't go faster than Shirley, you can't show <laughs> your face again around the house. <laughs> OK, are these going to be the catch points? Let's find out. Straight to the end, straight to the end, straight to the end. Got it! Oh! But at least you caught one, so that's okay. You just had your fingertips to it. Unlucky. You were absolutely spot oh, on, no, though, with the really? lawnmower, and you were spot on with the toilet as well. Okay, so at the end of the round, you've banked £700, taking your total so far to £1,000. Well done, yeah. Gary. So at the end of the round, Kadina and Perry are on £600 and Shirley and Martin are on £1,000. <laughs> Shirley and Martin, you've earned the more so far. Can we play a quick catch? <laughs> now, firstly, beating the Olympians. Hey. Can, you be <laughs> can you believe this? Look at this! <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you've got 45 seconds worth of questions. To stop the clock and release the ball, you need to hit this button here. The categories are European stuff or movies. What do you mean, European stuff? Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is how random it is. Uh, so we'll go for movies. We've got to go movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got to. All right, let's have a look at the screens. So, here are ten Oscar-winning directors in order of age, with the youngest on the left through to the oldest on the right. So, from the left there, Damien Chazelle, then we've got Chloe Zhao, Bong Joon-ho, Alfonso Cuaron, Ang Lee, Catherine Bigelow, Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, Francis Ford Coppola and Clint Eastwood. Right, 45 seconds on the clock. Who directed the 2004 film The Aviator starring Leonardo DiCaprio? Get out the... Oh, oh. All right, OK. Oh, oh no, it's going off. Go. Got rid of it. It was Martin Scorsese. It was a star ball as well. I'm really sorry. You've got 38 seconds. Which of these people wrote and directed the Oscar-winning 2016 film La La Land? 16, 2016, oh. La La La. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> You're in the right areas, what yeah. the rest? Damien Chazelle, you've got 31 seconds. <laughs> Who directed the 1981 adventure film Raiders of the Lost Ark? Talk. <laughs> no! Oh, you were there! Oh, look, you were right. I forgot to get the arms. Spielberg, got it. Steven Spielberg, 26 seconds left. Yeah. <laughs> Who won a Best Director Oscar in 2021 from the film Nomadland? 2021. Students. Students. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I thought Chloe we were Chow. Wrong. OK, 19 seconds left. Which of these people directed and acted in the film Million Dollar Baby? 
Clint Eastwood, Clint Eastwood, go. Oh, oh here we go! Oh, 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 I thought you've done it, I thought you finally you've got it. Oh. You were spot on, it is Clint Eastwood, yeah. you had it. Let okay, got there. 13 seconds left. So sorry. Who is the director of the Keanu Reeves movie Point Break? Oh man. Let Take a guess, because it's down here. Let's go down here. Oh, you're yeah. there! Oh. Oh. Catherine Bigelow. Got six seconds left. Which of these film directors made the Godfather trilogy? Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, God! Fancy Ford Coppola. Oh. OK. Two seconds one. left. I'm going to let you go a little bit further forward as well. Oh. Right. OK, <laughs> ready. Who directed Life of Pi? Oh, oh. this one. Oh! oh. Be him. It was Ang Lee and no, no, he no. dropped on zero. So unfortunately, he didn't catch Nothing. any balls at all. Oh. So your total remains at a thousand pounds. Off you go, relax over there, you two. <laughs> Ladies, no, you didn't pick it, but you're left with European stuff. Right, okay, let's have a look at the screens. Yeah. Oh, so oh. on the screens now is a map of Europe. All the answers to the questions in this round are found somewhere on this map. Right, OK, 45 seconds on the clock. The TT motorcycle races take place annually on which island? Get out oh, there, start hey, moving. Hey, hey. Oh, 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 Mount Elbrus, the highest mountain in the Caucasus, is located oh, where? Yeah. Oh, 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 28 seconds remaining. Where did the Eurovision Song Contest take place in 2021? Oh, come on. Go. Come on, go on, let it go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Rotterdam, that. Uh -huh. Rotterdam. Uh -huh. 23 seconds remaining. Where is the island of Corfu? <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, 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 You've got 20 seconds remaining. Still plenty of time left. The European Parliament is located in Strasbourg and which Belgium city? I'm back. Katina. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, you had it! Just caught it on the fingertips. Oh, lucky Parry. Oh, it's Brussels. You were there. 14 seconds left. OK, come on. Where is the former Soviet Republic of Armenia? Go! Oh, yes! 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 What the catch? Yes! Come on! <laughs> 200 pounds slot race. <laughs> Just east of the Black Sea over there, so you're in the right area. Oh, amazing. Whew. Nine seconds remaining as well. Here we go. Where is the popular tourist resort of Marbella? Go oh, Spain, come round here. Come. Oh, 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 <laughs> well. Right, five seconds remaining. <laughs> Where did Dr. Maximilian Bircher Benner invent muesli? Time Ready? to kick in. Could he not take it? Oh! Yes! <laughs> what a catch! That was a 400 pound ball. <laughs> Zurich, <laughs> next ball's 500 pounds. <sighs> You've got less than a second. <laughs> you don't have to press any buttons. I know, That's I'm it. No, we're all okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Where are the Channel Islands located? It was the Channel Islands. You were absolutely spot on that way, and you <laughs> caught the ball. It's a 500 pound ball, so you caught five balls in that round. You banked 1,500 pounds, taking your total to a massive 2,100 pounds. What? <laughs> oh. So Shirley and Martin have 1,000 pounds, and Kadena and Perry have 2,100 pounds, which means Kadena and Perry are going through to tonight's final. <laughs>
No. Martin and Shirley, you're going to stick around. We're going to need help on the last round, so you yeah. can give us some answers as well. But the girls will be catching. Yeah. Right, let's play the final. I think I pulled a muscle. <laughs> 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 and Perry, firstly, well done. That was an epic round. You've now got us a chance to win the money you've banked so far, which is £2,100, or you can double it to £4,200 for your charity. OK, for the final time tonight, let's face the screens. Here we go. Right. On the screens now are ten animals arranged in order of their typical lifespans in the wild. The ones with the shorter lives are on the left, through to the longer lifespans on the right. So, on the left there, we've got the mayfly, the clownfish, the tiger, the blue-footed booby, and the Burmese python. Then on the right side, we've got the bald eagle, the Komodo dragon, the mountain gorilla, the hippo, and the African elephant. And the questions are, which of these animals has a typical lifespan of 17 years? That's your left side. And then which of these animals has a typical lifespan of 40 years? That's on the right side. I'm going to say tiger or snake. I, I was oh, thinking, okay. my first thought was tiger. OK. Shirley and Matt here in play in here, they can help you out a little bit. Have you got any ideas? Got any ideas? I, I, I wouldn't I'd, say tiger. Yeah, I'd wouldn't. go tiger as well. No, I wouldn't. Oh, no. oh, oh. Why? I don't think they live that long. I would say the snake could be the longer. Oh. Martin? I'm going tiger. All right, well, or listen. Or do you okay. lock in the bird and then you've got... That way of day. Oh, yes, I like your thinking. Oh, yeah. Bird. So, <laughs> you want to lock in uh, the blue-footed booby. Yeah. Go yeah. that. Yeah. OK, that. right, let's lock it in. OK, this side now. So, 40 years, 4 zero. See, uh, so me, for me, I think the gorilla won't last longer than 25 years. For some reason, like, 25, 30 years is in my head with the gorilla. Right. Yeah. And, but I think the elephant lasts a lot longer than yeah. 40 years. I say standard hippo. So then I'm thinking hippo. Standard hippo. <laughs> oh, oh, it's me standard hippo. Oh, you standard yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stand hippo. OK, yeah. Right, OK, let's lock in the hippo over there. Right. <laughs> Get yourself in position. Perry, it's on you, this one. Catch this and you've got the money guaranteed. OK? Right. Come on! Is this going to be the catch point for £2,100? Let's find out. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> wow, it's the one none of us even spoke about. I know. Yeah. So it was the right thing, though, right in the middle. Well, you've got the money guaranteed now. Right. You've got that money. So now it's bonus time. No. Let's double it. OK, let's do it. All right. I'm ready. All right. Come on, Kadina. Here we go. Start the beeps. God, it was the booby and it was the hippo you got on board. Four thousand two hundred pounds. We're going to split that between your charities. Perry, what's your charity? ACLT. Okay, Kadina. The MS Society. Well done to you two, and thank you so much for taking part, Martin and Shirley. Well done, everyone. That's it for tonight. Catch you next time on Catch Point. Catch the best of today's Test match at Headingley. Highlights of England against New Zealand on BBC Two now. Here next, live music. She's got a driver's licence to thrill. Olivia Rodrigo at Glastonbury.